Okay, James here. And now I'm going to go back and we're going to try to add a nice sort of long trail to this. So to do this, I'm going to need to duplicate the example. And we're just going to hide the first example. So we no longer need this. And now we're going to name a second example too. So I'm just going to have a look at network view. You can see everything's kind of jumbled over the top of it, which I don't really like. So I'm actually going to show a different way of, of duplicating these in Animate Pro. So you can just hit copy and then click over here and hit paste. And so I'm now just going to rename this example 2. And now we're not going to need this trail, although you can add it later if you decide to. So now we have we now just have a light beam and a glow. And we're going to need to connect this to the composite module if we want to be able to see it. I'm also going to add another drawing layer. This is just going to be a sort of a dummy layer, which I'm just going to use to help me draw. Now we're still going to keep to this animation that we've set. Another nice thing you might notice is if you actually expand this and just disable the peg, that hides all of the animation. Which is you know, really nice when you go back to the beginning. So, first things first, this part here we're not going to have a trail at all. But from here, we are going to want, so this is going to be our start position for trail. So I'm just going to go up here, copy this image, and I'm going to paste it down on my dummy drawing at the end point of the trail. And so I'm now going to have to go up to here, and I handle, and I'm just going to turn this off, and I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go over to the library, bring it across here to make a blank drawing, and paste it, and hopefully now, we're going to have it as drawing number two, so we've got standard light there, and drawing beam two. Now you're going to see the sort of weird thing that I was talking about with the points. I've actually, after adding them all in, I'm now going to delete a lot of these points. But I'm going to remember the amount of point of these vertices that I had there. So now you can see down here, I'm going to actually let's just grab the paint tool. This is our target. So let's turn the animation back on. And you can see this is the target for our sweep. And to do this, I'm just going to use the contour editor. And we're going to use it on our light beam. I'm just going to grab this point and chuck it out here somewhere. You can do like different ones if you like. It's sort of up to you, you know, sort of the shape you like. So I'm going to sweep this in a touch. And we're going to go up here and that's the shape of the beam I'd like to have, I think. And so that's going to be a giant swoop. So now, I'm going to have to add these points back. So I'm going to add one there, one there. I have two down the sides. I'm going to have three. I'm going to check that. Now we had three down the side. So let's chuck one in, chuck one in. 
And so we've now got the top one and we've got three in between them, which is good. So now what we need to do is morph this sweep. So I'm going to hide this dummy drawing. I'm going to select here. You select all the drawings except for your target, or up to your target from where you want to go. Hit Alt M. Or you could just right click and go to morphing and create morphing. And now we give a morph. And obviously this is nothing like what we like to see. We'd like to see this swoop develop over the period. So now what I'm going to do to fix this is we're going to go to our morphing tool and we're going to set contour points which will help hopefully allow us to you know create this shape that we'd like to see. So I'm going to start at the top. Usually I wouldn't use quite this many points so I'm just going to create them sort of around one. We'll take one in the middle, we'll take one at the bottom, one at this point here, one in the middle and one at the top. So we're just going to go around in a circle. Now what you want to do, the reason I drew these outside is if you draw in a line you may not actually snap to it. You want to, if you move them across you'll see you just sort of snap them into the line. So we'll snap this one in the middle, snap this one in our bottom point, other bottom point of the blade, somewhere in the middle and again at the top. I don't need this seventh point, I didn't mean to create it, so I'm just going to delete it. And now we have these contour hints and we now need to let um, animate know where these hints are meant to go to. So our four is going to go down to this little point here, our five is in the middle, our six is our top point, our zero is sort of somewhere in the middle, one in that corner, two in the middle down here, and we need our three to snap to this other point. And now we have this developing blade, which is really nice. And now if you just flick across with our glow effect set on, you'll have this whole sort of blade. I mean you could you might not want this little bit sticking down here, so you could just sort of set it up here. It's your choice how you set these up. I'm just giving you a demonstration of what you can possibly do. But this is going to be so fast that it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to stop pause this video here and go on to the next part because otherwise I'm going to run over on time. I'm going to go and develop all of these swoops for you. So you're going to see this process done three or four times so that you, you know, have it down pat and you have no trouble doing it.